Hey guys, всем привет! Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited because you've been requesting this video for quite a while on my Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And by the way, don't forget to follow me on there as well. We can be friends everywhere. Today I'll show you how to make cepelini. In Russian, cepelini. And basically what it means, it's like meat stuffed together in wrapped in a potato and then boiled, served with crispy bacon and onions and sour cream. Now it's so good, it's so delicious, it's a bit time consuming but it's so worth it. And I hope you enjoyed this video guys, now let's get started. We're going to need a lot of potatoes, onions, egg, salt and pepper, garlic, fresh herbs such as parsley and dill, you can use any other herbs, sour cream, minced pork, you can also use beef and some pancetta or bacon. The first thing we're going to do is peel our potatoes. Add about four to five potatoes into a pan and we're gonna boil them. Add the rest of the potatoes into a deeper dish with cold water and onions. Add meat into your bowl, add your onion and garlic, egg, salt and pepper and some greens. Give it all a really good mix. Form small meatballs from your mixture that are gonna go inside the cipollini. Put your raw potatoes in a food processor and blend until nice and smooth. You should have a large pot of potatoes like that. We're going to squeeze all the water out of it. You need to make sure you squeeze all the juice out of your potato. It needs to be completely dry and keep the juice for later. Once your potatoes are cooked, you need to mash them up. Add salt and pepper. You should have two big bowls of raw and cooked potato and we're going to mix them together. Take a big handful of your potato, flatten it out and place one meatball inside and then fold it in and gently wrap around and form a nice big zeppelini. In the small bowl add your potato juice and then the very bottom you can see there is our starch, so we're going to add about one tablespoon. Into your hot pot of water add salt and potato starch with juice. Cook them for about 5 to 8 minutes on a very low heat. So I hope you enjoyed my video recipe, I've had a few and they were so filling and so delicious and I'm going to be making them with other fillings so don't forget to check my channel out in the next few weeks. Give me a big thumbs up, don't forget to leave your comments down below. If you want me to make anything else, leave your requests and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!